seems to me that the Labour leadership has now been caught up in anti-union Tory hysteria uh, and uh, I'm as amazed as everybody else is at this. What we've said is that if there are any wrongdoings in Falkirk then let's have an independent inquiry so that we can have the truth. We have no confidence whatsoever in the so-called investigation that has been carried out by Labour Party HQ. It's not an investigation, it's not a proper objective report. And the only way that we can see resolving this issue and getting back to the real business that people are interested in is an independent report. If that independent report indicates that Unite have done something wrong, then I'll be the first to put my hand up and accept responsibility for it and do something about it. But at the moment, we are in the middle of a media storm which has been caused by Labour's inability to deal with this situation. They've shot themselves in the foot. We have a government that is driving our nation down into a path to poverty. One million of our, pe our young people are unemployed. The National Health Service is being privatised. The welfare state is being dismantled. And here we are, instead of attacking the Tory government, the Labour leadership has shot itself in the foot and created this media storm over what is a uh, genuinely irrelevant issue to ordinary uh, British workers. But as far as Unite is concerned, we've done nothing wrong. We're being attacked mercifully by the media uh, who've, who've had stuff to, to our knowledge we've done nothing wrong and that remember I haven't even seen the report that's why this isn't an objective report we were told initially when the inquiry was taking place that any allegations that were going to be made the allegations uh, who the, the people who are being uh, accused of things would have an opportunity to respond they weren't even interviewed Unite hasn't been interviewed we don't even know what the situation is this is absolute nonsense and I would hope that a calming influence can come into this. Let's settle this down. Let's resolve this issue. We've got shadow cabinet members saying that Unite have overstepped the mark. What does that mean? We asked too many people, too many of our members to join the Labour Party. We should have told them that the Labour Party was full up, perhaps. I mean, it is a nonsense, and I'm afraid the way it's been handled by uh, the Labour Party headquarters is uh, nothing short of disgraceful. Do I still support Ed Miliband? Yes, Ed Miliband is the leader of our party. There is absolutely no question about that. He has my full support and unites full support. But that doesn't mean to say that we agree on everything. And of course, in the Democratic Party, you can disagree. And in that regard, we disagree with what the Labour Party have done. We believe they've handled it absolutely amateurishly.